Skywatch Media News for the first week of October 2021. In late November of this year, NASA will launch a rocket carrying a spacecraft dubbed the Real Life Armageddon Mission, also known as NASA's first planetary defense mission, whose purpose is to intentionally crash into a hazardous asteroid, hopefully allowing Earth to be better protected from future asteroid impacts. The daring mission will begin with the launch of a kinetic impactor which will eventually strike an asteroid to determine whether it can be veered off course. The target is a binary asteroid system named Didymus. The impactor will zero in on the smaller of the two asteroids known as Dimorphos, crashing into the space rock at a speed of 14,760 miles per hour. The launch is scheduled for November the 26th and it will be broadcast live online. The spacecraft will depart from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The NASA spacecraft will travel towards Didymus for a rendezvous in late September of 2022. Upon its arrival, the spacecraft and the two asteroids will be located about 6.8 million miles from Earth. Mark your calendars for October the 2nd of 2022. This is the date when the asteroid impact event is likely to take place. On that date, the DART spacecraft will blast its engines and crash into the smaller asteroid, which is 524 feet wide while at the same time avoiding the parent asteroid, which is 2,560 feet wide. According to NASA scientists, the smaller asteroid is the typical size of an asteroid that would most likely pose a significant threat to Earth, although Dimorphos is not the asteroid that is necessarily the one that will cause a devastating effect on Earth. 20 years ago, the binary system Didymus, consisting of a near-Earth asteroid, was found to have a moon. The Greek term Didymus means twins, which is used to describe how a larger asteroid nearly half a mile across is orbited by a smaller moon 525 feet in diameter. The moon's name became Dimorphos, which means two forms. The name was given because it will become the first celestial body to have the form of its orbit significantly changed by humanity. In this case, the orbit seen by DART before its impact, and the one that will be seen by the European Space Agency in a follow-up investigation a few years from now. The impactor is expected to slightly alter the asteroid's path next October just enough for NASA to measure any change in its orbit. Any change in its trajectory will be observed and measured by telescopes on Earth. It should be noted that even a fractional change in trajectory can make an asteroid miss Earth by a larger margin if the asteroid is hit early enough. And so scientists believe that this is the surest mechanism by which to prevent an impact. Although, at present, there are no asteroids or comets that pose an immediate threat to Earth, we must remain vigilant to the many dangers lurking in space, especially those that are unforeseen. In early 2013, our world had a cosmic wake-up call when a small asteroid entered the skies over Shelobinsk, Russia. The asteroid entered from the direction of the sun and was missed by observational telescopes. Although the asteroid did not impact the Earth, it created an air blast that damaged many buildings and injured more than 1,500 people. The blast released the energy equivalent of 440,000 tons of TNT. Life-threatening dangers on Earth may seem endless, but the dangers from the sky are plentiful, and lest we forget, a rock traveling at 20,000 miles per hour or greater could fall out of the blue at any moment and come crashing down on a vulnerable world. 
To give you an idea of just how vulnerable we are to the dangers from above, here are a few of the modern era space rocks that penetrated our skies and put the world on edge. On October the 9th, 1992, a giant fireball roared across the East Coast. Sightings began in West Virginia as it traveled northeast and eventually impacted the ground in Peekskill, New York. Because of the shallow angle by which it burned through the atmosphere for a full 40 seconds, the Peekskill meteorite was seen by thousands of bystanders and captured on video from at least a dozen different perspectives. The footage is now used by scientists to study the trajectories of meteors in the atmosphere. On September 15, 2007, a meteorite impacted Earth near the village of Carancus, Peru. The impact created a 50-foot wide crater. Local officials who went to investigate said there was boiling water bubbling at the bottom of the crater. Gases were rising from the site of the crater, causing investigators to become immediately ill. In the days following, villagers came down with a mysterious illness, which scientists claim was caused by arsenic poisoning, unleashed by the meteorite impact hitting a tainted underground water supply. On November 30, 1954, a fireball scurried across the Alabama sky, producing a sonic boom and creating television interference in homes 70 miles from the scene of the meteor explosion. The space rock broke up into three main pieces as it burned through the atmosphere. A resident of Oak Grove, Alabama, Ann Elizabeth Hodges, was resting on her couch when the largest of those three pieces, about the size of a grapefruit, came crashing down through her roof. It ricocheted off of her console radio and struck her on the hip, causing severe bruises. At that time, she was the only person to be injured by an extraterrestrial object. Coincidentally, the U.S. Air Force immediately sent a helicopter to Oak Grove to claim the meteorite, which was a ferrous rock consisting of H-4 chondrite. In the year 1947, 200,000 pounds of pure iron fell from the sky in eastern Siberia. The meteorite name for the mountain upon which it landed entered the atmosphere traveling over 31,000 miles per hour. It appeared brighter than the sun and was visible from nearly 200 miles distance in all directions. A smoke trail was seen several hours following the impact and fragments of iron were discovered driven into trees. On August the 10th, 1972, a massive fireball crossed the Earth's atmosphere from Utah to Alberta, Canada. The space rock, which traveled more than 1,000 miles at a speed of 32,662 miles per hour, was visible for more than one and a half minutes. A satellite from the U.S. Armed Forces detected the atmospheric phenomenon by infrared radiometry. The rock was estimated to be around 80 meters in diameter, which, if it had hit the surface, it would have left a crater about the size of a small city. The biggest and by far the most mysterious impact event in recorded history took place above the Tunguska River in Russia, on June the 30th, 1908. The explosion was 1,000 times as powerful as the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The explosion was believed to be caused by a large meteoroid or comet about three to six miles above the Earth's surface. The shock wave from the air blast destroyed an estimated 80 million trees, covering 830 square miles, knocking people off of their feet hundreds of miles from the impact site. The suspended dust created by the explosion produced a decrease in atmospheric transparency registered by observatories in the United States. As you look to the sky, know that it is used as a measure of our abilities, as in the common saying, the sky is the limit. But in life, it is the beginning. 
In the sky there are always answers and explanations for most everything. Every pain, every suffering, every joy and confusion. It is a source of peace and motivation for all who dwell upon the earth. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.